This surgical technique focuses on introducing a biomechanically robust repair technique tailored for medial meniscus posterior root tears. A complete tear of the posterior root of the medial meniscus was confirmed preoperatively through axial, sagittal, and coronal views of the MRI. Arthroscopy commences with a routine anterolateral portal, and a low anteromedial portal is placed. A size 2 fiber wire is passed through an orange angiocath as a loop, which is then slightly curved for better direction in the knee joint. Picrousting of the medial collateral ligament is performed to facilitate easier handling and suturing of the meniscal root during subsequent repair. The torn edge of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus and the surrounding capsule are abrad using a motorized shaver. The angiocath is passed through the medial meniscus from the posteromedial aspect of the knee and emerges in the torn part. The fiber wire loop is removed from the portal, and the angiocath is only removed from the meniscus without exiting the capsule, then re-enters the posterior root of the medial meniscus from an area 3 to 4 mm away from the previous thread. The thread coming out of the second place is passed through the first loop and then pulled until the knot falls on the meniscus. The fiber wire is passed a second time through the torn part. This process is repeated to have two fiber wires suture the torn part of the medial meniscus. The tip of aiming tibial tunnel guide is inserted and positioned on the meniscal root insertion site. The reamer inserted into the external portion of the guide and drilled through the proximal tibia. While the reamer remains, the guide pin is removed from inside the reamer. The wire loop lasso guide is guided through the reamer hole to the inside of the knee joint, and with its help, the free end of the threads tied in the meniscus is passed through the tibial tunnel. A two-hole reconstruction plate with screws in the proximal part of the anteromedial side of the tibia is used as an anchor for fixation of fiber wires. After fixing the plate it's time to tie the fiber wires to it. Complete reduction and stable fixation are checked arthroscopically for any signs of instability or loosened repair.